Welcome to another episode of Math Snacks with Miss Glovely and Miss Wonderful. Today we're working on the lesson of comparing decimals part two and we're using my favorite manipulative money. We've had ep episodes where we've talked about your fetish with money before. I like money because I get to go shopping with money. Okay, but this is my money, so hang on. And it's, it's not a $10,000 bill. It's not either. a $10,000 bill this time okay. either. We're going to review just a, for a second about what we talked about last time when we were talking about base 10 with base 10 blocks. Mm -hmm. And remember that this base 10 block stood for a whole number one. one. Right? Whole one. Mm -hmm. right, and this was a tenth, tenth. of it, mm -hmm. and this was those little tiny ones are were hundreds, a hundredth of it because be it takes a hundred of them to fill it up. Absolutely. Okay. Well, if we're going to use that same principle today, guess Which? what? Guess what? My whole number is going to be today. Well, I think it's going to be that one dollar bill. I think you're right. I think it's going to be a one dollar bill. But we don't have any whole numbers yet, do we? No, but I want to show you what I remember. What do you remember? That seven tenths is greater than fifteen hundredths you, because it was seventy hundredths. You're <laughs> absolutely right. So now we're going to use money. We're going to use money. So oh, there. Oh, uh, see, it didn't work, did it? You can't throw <laughs> this time. Okay, so if we're going to use that for the whole number, uh -huh. which we don't have any of at this point, mm -hmm. and this was our tenth before, and this was our hundredth before, we're going to have to use some sort of money that is a tenth of a dollar and a hundredth of a dollar. Well, I know the hundredth is really easy because I know there's a hundred pennies in a dollar. There you go. So that's what we're going to mm -hmm. replace our cube with. And there's t there would be ten of those in here. So what, 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 do, what coin you, is ten pennies? A dime. There we go. Now you have your new manipulative. Okay. 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 There we go. So if we I think use... you need to put really big numbers on here for me to try. No, because... Then I get no, because the money? The, no, you get that much money. Okay, so... Show me what this looks like this time with money. The seven tenths? Uh huh. Could be 70 pennies, but it, you want me to do seven look, tenths? I want you to do seven tenths. Ten, twenty, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven tenths. There's seven, seven tenths. Seven dimes. Seven dimes, okay. Mm -hmm. And now we need the fifteen hundredths, which is our how many pennies? Fifteen pennies. There you one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm starting to get confused. 15. Help. Because there's more of those, and I said that this one number was bigger than that number. You there? It's kind of the same thing when I almost tricked you with the base 10 blocks. There were more of the small cubes than there were of the long rods, but when you had them cover the area, which mm -hmm. one covered more area? But we can't really use the area model. Can't for this. use area model because okay. it doesn't work that way for for I money. I got to do trading. I got to. You're going to have to trade. So how many dimes could you make out of this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dot ten pennies. So I'm going to trade that. Oops. Guess what? I don't think we have a dime. For a dime. Well, I'll do this. Okay, one dime. I'll put a D. I know that's a dime. Okay. So we really only have one dime and, and five. some more. So do you have as much as you have here money-wise? No, because I've got 70 cents here and this is only 15 cents. So is your sign correct? It's still correct. It's still correct. You get a happy face. Yay. Yay. Woohoo. One thumbs up. You have to earn this. You realize that. I know, but I like giving myself two thumbs okay. up. Okay. Okay. You want to try another one? Because I don't have any tears this time no, yet. No tears. We're not going to have tears this time. Okay. Let's try a new money one. Okay. How about if you do two tenths, the decimal two tenths, point two. Two tenths, which is like two dimes. That's correct. Okay. And 19 hundredths, point one nine. Nineteen is way bigger than two. And it'd take a lot of pennies to put on 19. So can, can I do this? Can I say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18? And if I had one more, I could trade those out and they'd be equal, but they're not. But they're not equal. Which one is more money? Oh. These two dimes or this dime and nine pennies? These, this is much more, uh, not much, this is one more penny, but it's more money. It is more money, so mm -hmm. it is greater than. If I had one more, then it'd been the same. How many pennies could you put here if you had, if you had put all 19 pennies here? Mm -hmm. How many pennies could you have replaced here? Oh, I'd put 10 for this one and 10 for that one. 
So that'd be 10, 20. There you go. So this is 20 pennies. This is only 19 pennies. And you're right. Cool. It is greater than. You do get the two thumbs up and Yay. a big happy face. Do I get to draw the happy face? You too? can draw the happy face. Yay. Okay. I have one more for you. Okay. Okay. I'll give you a new sheet of paper. Okay. And this time we're going to use your favorite thing, that dollar bill. Okay. Woo. Okay. Okay. So okay. Th this time your number is going to be one and nine hundredths. Oh, remember what that decimal point says? It says and. and one and, and nine, nine hundredths. hundredths. I'm going to write that real quick just so we make sure I don't forget that. This decimal point means and. We say and here. Mm -hmm. One and nine hundredths. Because the nine is the mm -hmm. last digit and it's in the hundredths place. And our other number is going to be one and two tenths. One point two. Okay. So that means you're going to need another dollar, aren't you? You're going to steal another one of my dollars. That's right. I think okay. we need to make those like a hundred hundred and nine hundred. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, Only one dollar bill. It was bills. worth a try. It was worth a try. Okay. So now show okay. me how those are going to look if, with the dimes well, or the Well, the dollar nickels. is the same. The dollar's the same. And this is and nine hundredths, and there's a hundred pennies in a dollar, so I need to put pennies. nine pennies out. That's right. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine. Yeah, okay. I made three rows of three because three times and three is nine. And then over here, this is in the tenths place. So what coin takes tenths ten? Tenths is a dime. There you go. So I'm going to help you. There we go. Okay. So which one is the bigger amount of money? Which one do you want to have? Because I know you always want to have the bigger amount of money. This one's the larger. That's correct. One and two tenths is larger than one dollar and or is dollar. One and two tenths is larger than one and nine hundredths. So if we were reading from left to right like we normally read, one and nine hundredths is less than one and two tenths. There you go. Awesome. You get another happy face. Can I take this money now and go down and buy snacks? This is my money. I'm sorry. All of this is my money. Miss Lovely. I know. I know. I don't share very well. You're not a very good share at all. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope this helps you understand decimals and comparing decimals, but this time with your very favorite thing, which is my money. <laughs> your money, exactly. You and you know what? Money makes a lot of sense to me because we use it every, every day. day. That's right. <laughs> and we don't use these every day. We only use these in math class usually. That's that's correct. So, well, thank you, Miss Glovely, for helping me with money, and I'll see you later. No, give me that back. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Math Snacks with Miss Glovely and Miss Wonderful. Join us next time as we explore part three of comparing and ordering, comparing decimals.